It sure is a beautiful day to be outside. Plus, we have ice cream cones. And even the birds look happy. <gasps> huh? Huh? That was a close one. Huh? Huh? Uh. Ah! Huh? Hmm. Hey, look. Nobody's here yet. Maybe we just got here too early. Not to worry. They're on their way. Hey, everybody. What's the big plan for today? It's the perfect day for a sporting event, like the high jump. I think I may have it in me to set the new record. What a great idea. Jerry, as the best high jumper among us, you will be the judge. I should have known. The real talent always gets sidelined. OK, Chuck, can you grab the crossbar from the soccer goal and lay it on the ground? That's what we'll jump over. Let the jumping begin. Uh, ah. Bravo, Joe. On second thought, I'm not up to this. Next time. Don't you worry, Thor. You'll have your day. Well done, Bull. Chuck, set that bar as high as it can possibly go. I feel ready to set a personal record. When you're ready, go for it. A worthy attempt, Bull. Now what are we supposed to do with this stone? We have to get rid of it, but it's just so huge. Nothing is impossible. Thor, you think you can saw this stone into smaller slabs? I'm always happy to help so long as it isn't a high jump. But why should we cut it down? The city park needs to repair the stones on its main trail. We can make them new stones out of this big stone. Exactly. And later tonight, after the park is closed, we'll swap the old stones with the new. That way, this stone can help everybody. What a great idea. Go, go, Turbozors. Perfect. Now, we need to carefully place the stones in Bull's bucket and take them to the park. Then we can lay our new trail. But we can't do it without Chuck, so we'll have to take him along in the trailer. Hooray! Chuck's going to the park. Go, go, Turbozors! Now we need to remove the old stones. Bull, this is the job for you. You can lay the stones on the trail. Jerry, you can help him by watching from above to make sure that the stones lay flat. So far, so good, Chuck. Keep going. It could be a little more smooth. More beautiful than I imagined. Joe, just check and make sure the stones are laid perfectly everywhere. All perfect. Chuck, you are a true master. I can't get enough. I'm not even tired. Let's lay stones all around the city and the woods. Who's ready? Maybe another time. We can't just leave these here. I know what to do with them. We can grind them down and sprinkle them in any cracks that form between the stones. So there won't be any puddles when it rains. Great idea. Thor, can you grind down the stones? Always happy to help, so long as it isn't a high jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It looks like your day has finally arrived, Thor. Sure, as long as I don't have to do the high jump. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Huh? Choo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, great job, everybody. turned out so well, and now no one else will lose their ice cream. Peter, Katie, do you think your grandma might want some new tiles in her kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading out to the store. You kids keep an eye on Florian while I'm gone. I think he wants to go to the beach. Yeah, we all had a great time there. Mm-hmm. It's too bad the beach is so far away. We can't go. I wish we could. Sorry, Florian. No beach today. Even though we can't go, what if we bring the beach here? And how would we do that? Well, first, we would need a lot of sand. Huh? Check out all this sand! Now all we gotta do is figure out how to get it to Grandma's house. Piece of cake. Go, go, Turbozords! <laughs> Um... Never fear! You're talking to the world's best surveillance dino! Found it! Let's go! I think that's enough sand. Let's head home. Let's dig here! Oh my! That's quite a sandbox! What do you think, Florian? I'm not sure Grandma's gonna be wild about this pile of dirt. I have an idea. Let's turn this into something your grandma would like. <laughs> nice! Grandma always wanted a flower bed. Huh? Now all it needs is some flowers. Welcome to the beach, Florian. I don't understand. Why are you still crying? I know. The sea. Beaches aren't beaches without it. Too bad there's no river here. Maybe not, but we can make do. Thor, can you dig a hole right here? No problem. Easy. Little to the left. Bingo! Oh, thanks. I didn't realize you were the digging expert. I guess the ground is thirsty. How can we waterproof this? We'd need a pool or something. 
Yeah? Too bad you don't have a big square trailer. One that's exactly the same size as the hole you just dug. But what do I know? You're right. We can just use the trailer. Jerry, you're the best. Ha! Come on, guys. Let's set the trailer right in the pit. Uh, yeah. huh? Great! <laughs> That's some beach. Huh? Huh? That's Grandma's bus. Hi, guys! Uh, hi, hi, Grandma! Grandma. Hello, dears. What in the world? I've always wanted a massive flower bed like this. Right now, it's just dirt. It needs flowers. That's not all that's new over here. Check it out! Florian wanted his own private beach. What busy little bees. How did you manage these things? I think someone deserves a treat. Here we go. Ice cream bars. I picked them up at the store. Thanks a bunch, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think he's saying he wants to share his ice cream bar with our dinosaur friends, right? <laughs> Great idea, Florian. Hmm. Without them, we couldn't have made our private beach today. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Chuck! May I present a picture from all of us? This time, it's not just a selfie, it's a groupie! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Blow out the candle. But before that, you get to make a wish. I do? And then will I get it? Birthday wishes always come true. <laughs> I wish I could learn how to ride on a skateboard. Huh? Just throw the skateboard in front of you, jump on, and then you're riding around. Voila! Huh. Just throw the skateboard in front of you, and then you can jump on and ride around. <laughs> Chuck sure has an unusual riding style. <laughs> Chuck, let's try this slowly and carefully. Uh, mm. So, how do you think I'm doing, Coach? You're doing very well. If only we had a bigger board. Hang on, that gives me an idea. will be easier to learn on this. But please be careful not to break it. We'd never hear the end of it from my grandma. Hmm, I've got it. Let's all build a track especially for Chuck. Hooray! Let's build a track for Chuck! Track for Chuck! Track for Chuck! Track for Chuck! <laughs> this is where we'll build the track. I'll clear away the sand, Thor will break the stones, Unky will load and unload, and Chuck, you will build the fence. The challenge is clear. Go, go, Turbozords!
think it's time to try out this track. Where'd she go? Hey, wait for me! The track for Chuck is ready. <sighs> ready and really dusty. Achoo! Come on, Chuck. Don't be afraid. <clears throat> you can do this, Chuck. <laughs> He flips, he turns, and he sticks the landing! Hooray! I can't thank you enough. I always wanted to be a skateboarder. And you made my birthday wish come true. <laughs> wow, eh? look at that. The beauty of it. Incredible. Well done. <laughs> Just so that you're all aware, my birthday is also coming up soon. And it only makes sense to start coming up with my wishes now. But what do I want? A little pony, a big car, maybe a little... You're up. Ah. Oh. Oh. Unky, now it's your turn. Hmm. Nice try. Maybe next time around. Ah. Uh. You wouldn't even let me compete because it would be unfair. I would soar. I would soar, soar, I tell you! That's why you can't. <laughs> Joe is in the lead. Her jump was the farthest. And most graceful. Your turn, Chuck. Uh, uh, Chuck, where are you going? You gonna jump? If I'm going to beat Joe, I'm gonna need a running start. I think we should get out of the way for safety. <laughs> that sure is something else. <laughs> A new record. <laughs> Chuck, are you okay? <laughs> Totally okay. I only got hurt once, when I was a hatchling. I was young. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great jump, Chuck! You look like a pterodactyl soaring through the air! That competition was so fun! Mm -hmm. We're doomed! We're doomed! Think back. Where could you have lost the medallion? I don't know. I had it this morning. This is serious. We're going to need our friend's help. Jer, call Katie and Peter. And we'll continue the search mm -hmm. here. Thor, Unky, wake up. Uh -huh. Thor, check out the other end of the clearing. Chuck, your height will help us see everything from above. Uh -huh. Double time, let's go. Uh -huh. Peter! Katie, emergency! It's horrible. We really need your help. Chuck went and lost his medallion. What are we gonna do? Lost his medallion? Big deal. I lose my hair ties, bracelets, and bows all the time. Yeah. Let's make a new medallion. I wish it were that simple. Follow me! Each of our medallions are keys that allow us to open the base. 
Anyone who doesn't have a medallion will be unable to get in. And Chuck lost his medallion! What are we gonna do? He can't go in after them? I don't get it. Chuck, show them. <laughs> can't leave him here all alone, outside at night. And we don't abandon our friends when they're in trouble. Besides, no human can see him. That'd be horrible. Every problem has a solution. I've got a plan. First, we'll disguise Chuck. Then the others will go to the base. We'll figure out the rest tomorrow. I hope this won't hurt. We'll need lots of stones, branches, and twigs. We can find all of them in the woods. Go, go, Turbo Swords! <laughs> Touches. Heads up! Now we all head home. Tomorrow we'll figure out what to do. Chuck, stay still. <sighs> well, it's morning. You think of anything? Not yet. Mm, you? Me neither. And what is that? Huh? Oh! Grandma always told us sleep solves everything. <laughs> But where? Where did you find it? All of us looked everywhere. It turns out Florian found it. <laughs> and took it home in his backpack. Huh? Wow, look at that. Where's Chuck? <laughs> Chuck! <laughs> Hold on to that. Try not to lose it. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Because of you, I slept like a log. <laughs> hmm. Want to try it? I know you'll have a good time, Chuck. You really think that I could? <laughs> You want to try and park that thing? Maybe for everyone else's sake. I'm trying. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. That hurts, Chuck. Oh, I'm sorry, Thor. These buttons are really small, and I have giant hands. Uh, uh, I'm afraid uh, we dinos just aren't suited to play with race cars, Peter. But I wanted to play a racing game. Uh, 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 hang on. We're all giant vehicles. Why don't we all have a real race? Uh, uh. How do you expect to have a race in the woods? And furthermore, we can't be on the highway. I got it. We could just build our own track here. Yeah! <laughs> I think there's enough room to build a track here, but it'll take some work. Here, look. It's okay if the track curves, but we'll have to clear out a bunch of rocks and plants and stuff. What do you mean, clear out plants? There's some great plants here. Don't tell me you'll move them. Lily of the Valley? Lily who? It's a flower in this field, even though they aren't blooming. It's an endangered flower here, so they're rare. Like, super rare. We have to protect nature, Peter. We'll figure something out to save them. We can transplant the lily what's her face with soil. Bull, can you uproot the stumps? Mm-hmm. And Unky, can you help move them? Uh-huh. Thor, you can break up the soil to prepare for the road. Uh-huh. Joe, use your big tires to flatten the path. Hmm. Chuck, you and Katie can help move the flowers. <sighs> and Jerry? Jerry? Hmm. Jerry can nap. What for? Because this is your racetrack. 
I don't have wheels the way the rest of you do. I can't even race with you all. You can be the judge then. Really? The judge? That sounds important enough for me. I'll do it. Go, go, Turbozors! On your marks, get set, go! probably would have been first if I hadn't been shoved off the track. But you shoved me off, too. It'd be easier if I had wheels or treads. What do you mean, Chuck? Huh? You won because it's easier for you to win. I judge you all lose. I thought this would be a fun and fair fight today. I don't know. It's difficult because we all have such different skills. Oh, man. I'm sorry. But how do we make it fair? I know. There's a really simple way to make this more fun. Let me think. You can do it as dinosaurs. Sound good? On your marks, get set, and we're off! Well, of course Chuck would win. He's got the longest legs of us all. <laughs> Oh. Uh, Chuck, are you okay? Never better. Let the race go on. Huh? Looks like everyone won. What a great race that was. By the way, don't you think we should have some sort of aerial race next? With a wonderful prize for the winner? Yes? <laughs> Why are you all laughing? <laughs> don't you think it'd be fun? <laughs> This rain's never gonna stop. It might just become an ocean and make our house a boat. The weatherman said it shouldn't last long today. Huh? <gasps> Look at that! Sun! Hooray! <laughs> Jerry posted. Look! Eh, not his best angle. I think he's asking us for help. Look, his wings are caught in the logs. He looks worried. Oh, he could be trapped. We have to go save him. It looks like he's in the lake in the forest. He could drown. We need to go fast. <laughs> Hiya, guys. Uh, uh, uh. What's the rush? To help Jerry. Hurry, we'll explain on the way. Jerry, what happened? I was taking some artsy shots of the rain and everything, and, well... Next thing you know, I'm a little over my head. Wings, rather. I have a plan. We need a way to get the water out. We'll dig a channel. Huh? The water will flow out, and then you'll be free. Mm hmm I'll run and get the rest. Katie and I will run and get the others to help. Thor and Chuck will stay here with you. 
We don't need to wait for everyone. We know how to dig stuff. Oh, oh. Hey, you're right. Digging holes is easy. <laughs> Hurry, help. We messed up. We tried making a channel, but it got worse. We thought the water would flow out, but it went the wrong way. We were supposed to dig in the other direction so the water flows away. Water follows the laws of gravity, guys. See? If the water is higher, it'll flow into some Peter, no time for science class. We have to save Jerry. Here's the plan. Bull and Thor, block the channel. Quick, poor Jerry's head is almost underwater. A rescue today would be nice. Go, go, Turbozors. Peter, what can I do? Help Unky with the logs. You can use them to strengthen the dam. The water stopped. Hooray! We saved you. Are you sure? Every cloud has a silver lining. Yes, like the rain clouds that caused this. Now that that's done, let's dig another channel on the other side to drain the water downhill. Let's go! Wait! Here's the plan. We need to rebuild the area with logs. And when we dig, make sure it reaches the lower pond. That pond is downhill, so it'll drain. Got it? Uh -huh. Well then, go, go, Turbozors! Now over there. Nice. It's ready. Now all we have to do is move the partition. Can I do it? Please. Hm. It's a wonder what we can do with water and gravity. I'm saved. Uh, huh? huh? Know what I want to do? Selfie time with my heroic friends! Oh no! Not more rain! <laughs> <laughs> You're both hard at work. So, what are you drawing? A big theater. And a dance show. Grandma, when's the last time you've seen one? Not for a long while. Mr. Charlie and I used to go all the time, but we don't get out to see shows anymore. But why not? Peter! Let's put on a dance show for the two of them. Great idea. We could show them all the dancing that we've been learning at school. But where should we perform it? We'll need to find some kind of theater space. Let's build one. And I know who can give us a hand. Who hmm. could that be? <laughs> but I don't know anything about theater. And I do not know anything about dancing. And I know even less than these two. How can we help? It's just like a movie, only it has live actors. And a stage instead of a screen. So let's work together and build a theater. I think I just found the perfect location for a theater. It's not all that far from Mr. Charlie's house. It's out in the woods, and it even has some abandoned logs that are covered with a tarp and are still in a good condition. Everything about it sounds perfect. Hooray! Go, go, Turbozords! 
The first thing we should do is clear this whole area. I'm on it. <laughs> Let's do it. that we need to leave space for the audience. Great work. Anki, why are you just standing there? Take those logs and set them up according to this diagram, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> Easy now. Those logs should all be aligned. Wow. Jerry, you're quite a prompter. There's no need for name-calling, Katie. <laughs> Don't be offended. A prompter is an important job in the theater. They sit in a special hidden place and whisper instructions to the performers. Yes! I think I was born to be a prompter. So where will my special place be? I can't wait to start prompting everyone. Uh, almost. Ah. Oh my, a theater. Joe, how, how do you, you know about, about the theater? theater? My dears, of course I know about the theater. Since I was little, I have longed to be a grand diva. Pardon me, Joe, but just what is a diva? The most important artist. Huh? I've got it. Now I know exactly what I should call myself. I am the diva of all prompters. <laughs> That's enough. Grandma and Mr. Charlie will be here soon, and we're not ready. Right, we can't let them see the Turbozors. Listen, everyone, it's time to go and hide. But we don't want to leave the theater and hide. We want to be able to see the show, too. Luckily, I know just what to do. Hmm. <laughs> Peter, Katie, cover us up with the tarp. You can tell Mr. Charlie and your grandmother that we're extra sets on wheels. <sighs> You can watch the show from under here. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I can't see a thing. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> there. Great. So sit quietly and enjoy the show from here. Thor, let's switch places. Then we can all see through the eye holes. What's really under the tarp? you become. That was really something to see. I think I'll run home now. I want to make something special to celebrate your performance. I'll go help her. <sighs> that dancing was so awesome. I am so impressed. You two have real talent. I could never do that. I may be the diva here, but right now, you two are the stars. Well, I was <laughs> disappointed. There was absolutely nothing for me to whisper. You two didn't make a single mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Major road work has begun on a large section of Federal oh. Highway. As a oh. result, all roads have significant delays. Peter? <laughs> hey, Grandma, what's going on? I have an awful toothache. It seems like you need to go to the doctor. <sighs> I missed the bus, and it was just announced that there's citywide traffic jams. I'd never make it in time. Don't worry about it, Grandma. We'll get you there in time. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> That's great. That's great. And that one's not so great. But it's also not so bad. Huh. You have a real gift. Our grandmother needs help. Huh? We have to get to the city fast so she can see a dentist. 
We can get you there quickly and with style. I can navigate traffic from above. Okay, let's go. What's this? <gasps> so, heading to the city. My, my. And who will be driving the car? That's a good point. Who will be driving the car? Not to worry, Grandma. This is a self-driving automobile. Modern technology is just amazing. Oh. another route. Follow me. <gasps> what's all this? Well, what seems to be the problem? I couldn't see this from over there. <clears throat> but there's still no problem. We just need to get reinforcements. I told you, Katie. Cars are backed up all over. We can't pass. Oh. Please don't worry, Kay. It'll be all right. Get down. You're going to fall. Huh? Ah! 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 <laughs> We've got problems. Traffic and the gigantic pit and Grandma's tooth. Listen, guys. We need your help. Go, go, oh. Turbozors! <laughs> Bull, first you'll smooth out that pile of dirt. Thor, then you'll dig a trench. Chuck, we need you to clear this pipe from the road and stick it in the trench. Unky, we'll need you to place the concrete slabs on the pipe. Let's do it! Here you go, my dears. My one-of-a-kind honey cake. Hooray! <laughs> that was one spectacular dentist, right? Mm -hmm. My tooth pain is completely gone. That car was just such a delightful shade of pink. Hello? Hello? Are you there? I would like you to send a self-driving car tomorrow. The pink one, please. Hello? Hello? What? Paulina, my beloved nephews, Boris and Bruno, are missing. Maybe they're just out playing in the woods. But they could be lost in there. Oh, I'm sick with worry. There's no need to worry, Aunt Nora. We'll find them. <laughs> huh? Huh? Stunning. Huh? 
enchanting. The queen of the forest. We need your help right away. Will you please help us find Boris and Bruno? Just look at this photo shoot. Don't get sidetracked. Our friends need you. This master scout is on the job. They're on a road in the forest. Can we catch up with them? You can consider them already caught. Next stop, the forest! Wait, they left without me. But we left her a note that says we're taking a trip around the world. And as soon as we circle the whole Earth, we'll be back immediately. What do we do, Peter? I have a plan. Nobody can rest until we get Boris and Bruno to return home. But how? It seems they don't want to go back home. Every problem has a solution. Now, here they are. Bull and Thor, I want you to dig a big hole up ahead so they'll think there's road work. <laughs> Boris and Bruno will have to turn here, where they will be met by a blockage of fallen trees. A blockage courtesy of Chuck. I love to set up blockages. Just don't forget to remove them when we're done. What if I just left a twig or two? Hmm. <clears throat> to bypass the blockage, they'll have to go down to the ravine. And who's gonna make the ravine? Nobody. Nature already made it. That was awfully nice of nature to dig a ravine so that we didn't have to. In order for them to climb out of the ravine, we need to build a new road. I nominate Thor, Bull, and Unky. Go, go, Turbozors! We've reached the end of the whole world? Bruno, if we had traveled around the entire world, we would be back home already because the Earth is round. Now follow me. I don't want to travel around the world anymore. I'm tired. I want cake with cranberries. The sooner we travel around the world, the sooner we can have lunch. Let's go. How will we ever be able to get out of here? Don't be afraid. We'll come up with something. Hmm. <sighs> 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 It's a road! Huh. Well, I told you we'd think of something. Oh. <laughs> Hooray! We're home! <laughs> Where have you been? I was so worried! <laughs> Aunt Nora, we just traveled around the entire world. <laughs> And it's not nearly as big as we thought it was. Nonsense. The Earth is incredibly large. Look, this is a model of our Earth called a globe. And it's impossible to bike across the entire Earth, boys. Because on the way, you will come across not only the mountains and deserts, but also the oceans. So you're saying we didn't travel across the whole Earth? I don't think so. Unless, of course, you flew around it like a bird or a plane or maybe a spaceship. I could do it. And I could do it, too. 
You make a delicious Gregory cake. Eat to your heart's content. I'm so grateful you found my nephews. What do they have to do with it? We're the ones who came home on our own. Yeah, let us eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Hey, have you heard about the old playground? They're supposed to get a new swing set. Doubt it. We haven't been there in a really long time. Come on. All right, let's go. Move it. Oh, no. It's closed now. Not only are there no new swings, it's all closed down. Let's go. Slides, swings. I know that we're grown up, but where will the little kids all go now? Peter, maybe we can help them out. We'll come up with something. Shame you kids are losing that nice playground for the new road. But there's other things to do, right? <sighs> we do know someone who can help. Sure do. Jerry, do you copy? This is Peter. Over. Peter to Turbozors. You there? Strange. They're so advanced but can't figure out a walkie-talkie. Let me try it out. Hand it over. Joe, Chuck, anybody? <laughs> ah. Such a shame. It's just not your day today, Anki. There's always next time. Anyone seen the radio? Hmm. Huh? It used to be on the branch. Huh? Huh? Oh. Boo! Anki! We need your help, guys! I'll take that. Huh? <clears throat> hey, it's Bull. Do you copy? Over. Bull, glad you picked up. We need your help with a special new project. Go, go, Turbozords! Ready for duty. Your playground problem's about to get a dino-sized solution. I'm ready to build some jungle gyms. Let's excavate Jurassic style. Or wait, am I Cretaceous? Mm hmm? Hmm. Here's an idea. We should build tunnels. Tunnels? But how? Look, Unky and Chuck, you guys can help reinforce these right here. Bull and Thor, you can dig the trench. Concrete floors will help reinforce the jungle gyms. The tunnels will help kids be able to access the playground, and before morning, we'll just put it all back. What can I do to help? Joe, those headlights of yours will help us out a lot. My flashlight's not nearly enough. Looks like we've got a plan. Go, go, Turbozords! <laughs> <laughs> Job. You're like a superhero. Uh, what should we do with all this stuff? I've got a 
a little idea. Unky, Thor, Chuck, let's move. Another job well done, Turbozors. Hooray! Shh, keep it down. It's past their bedtime. A mystery in town. Last night, an unknown <gasps> construction company added a tunnel system to the playground. Bull, do you copy? Check this out. It appears to have been done by professionals. A new road was going to cut off access to these facilities, but now it's better than it has ever been. So a big thank you to this mysterious helper. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> For an evenly distributed tan, expose your whole body. You're evenly blocking the whole sun. Nothing is being distributed on me but a bunch of sand. But how could I block out the sun? Chuck, please stop looking at the sun. Have you completely forgotten what happened the last time? What exactly happened last time? <laughs> 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 Hi, Jerry. Good job burying yourself in the sand. Today would be great for swimming. Too bad we don't have a big diving board, though. <laughs> if we swam here, we would need a rescue tower and a lifeguard in case someone needed help. <laughs> hey, guys, I'll be lifeguard. I'll climb the tower and huh? keep lookout. Help me, help me. Fear not. There's no need to panic because... <laughs> 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 what do you know? <laughs> it seems our lifeguard needs a lifeguard. <laughs> yeah, for your information, I always start rescues lying down. <sighs> it's settled. Let's work together and build two towers. One will be for diving, the other will be for rescuing. We need to do a really good job. That way, people from the whole city could swim here. <laughs> then I better get ready to rescue them all. What should we use to build the towers? I say we build them out of stones and fallen trees. That way we'll clean the forest too. Go, go, Turbozors! Bull and Chuck, gather the stones. Thor and Unky, you'll gather the trees. Then we'll convert them into logs. Jerry? My job will be to make sure that everybody is working safely. Listen up. Who knows the most important part of both a rescue tower and a diving board? <laughs> the very most important part of a rescue tower is the lifeguard. Well done, Jerry. So then for a diving board, it has to be the diver. Not quite, Chuck. Huh. What is a diving board's most important part? Water! <laughs> <laughs> Attention swimmers, there's no swimming past the buoys, and no matter what, no one is allowed to sneeze. First. Uh, right now I really need some exercise. Uh, same with me. <laughs> I'll show you what to do. Watch closely. 
And that's how it's done. We can do that too, you know. Right, Thor? Uh, right, Anki. But maybe Chuck should go before us, or Bo. But we're way too big. You guys ought to go first. There's nothing to fear because Jerry the lifeguard's here. Well, thank you, Jerry. I guess it's better than nothing. Anki, I need you to be sure to let me know when we get to the top. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. I closed my eyes at first, too, but then I remembered that we're powerful turbosaurs. Right, Thor? Uh, uh, you're right. It's not that bad with your eyes open. Come down. You don't have to jump. But we turbosaurs are not afraid of anything. Uh -huh. Just count to three for us. And one, two, two three! three. Guess what, guys? I filmed it all! That was totally amazing! Aw, oh, I'm glad they're safe, but I really wanted to rescue someone. It's a pity that none of us need help with swimming. Climbing might tire us out, and if so... Then I can save you, right? What are you doing? Getting ready for the race. Wow, what kind of race? The obstacle race, of course. The winner gets to take the Turbozor's cup. Bull, Chuck, Bull again. Wow. And here's Joe. She's a four-time wow. champ. Wow, even Thor is here, and Jerry too. Uh, that was a long time ago. Since I'm no longer racing, I watched the race from the air. And where is Anki? His name isn't here. Unky isn't there because he's never won the race before. Yeah, Unky has no luck. Unky says he doesn't want to participate in the race anymore. And besides, he doesn't have any wheels. You're absolutely right. He doesn't have wheels, he has tracks. He can't drive as fast as all of you. Well, I don't have any wheels either. And I was able to win just using my feet. You can't compare with him, Chuck. It takes him 10 steps for every one of yours. Remember, this is a race. The fastest wins and all that. Wait a minute. What about your friendship? Tell me, Joe, how many times has Unky told you, huh? And Thor, when you fall into the river, who pulls you out? So what should we do? I've got an idea, Bull. Again with this race? Every year it's the same thing. I'm bored. Hey, Unky. Hey, yourself. Why are you here all alone? Everyone is waiting for you. Yeah, well, I... Unky, come on. What could they do without you? Who is the smartest? Unky, who always rescues everyone. Unky! Yes, yes, yes. Before the route was easier, but now you have to be able to think. I, for one, think you have a really good chance. Oh, I don't know. You are, in fact, very fast and agile. But I only have tracks, Katie. And all of them, they have wheels. By the way, tracks can be very useful, especially off of the road. Hmm. <laughs> Okay then, there will be a sharp turn behind the old oak tree, so be careful. And then the pits and the bumps begin, so be sure to keep an eye out. All participants, get ready! Go, go! Turbozords! Anki, come on! Step on the gas!
the race. Chuck, you do have a whole year before the next race, so start training. <laughs> <laughs> Then the handsome bus driver said to your old grandma, that brooch really compliments your skin tone. What brooch? Also, what's a brooch? Oh, gracious. I seem to have lost it. Oh. Don't worry, grandma. Let's think back. When was the last time you saw it, if you remember? Hmm. Oh. She says the last time she remembers seeing it was leaving the hair salon. She says it was on her shirt. So somewhere between here and there. No, Peter. She went a lot of other places after leaving the salon. Finding it won't be easy. Maybe not, but I bet we can do it. With a little help, of course. she left the salon, our grandma turned the corner here. And I'm pretty sure she would have gone this way to the grocery store, which is right there. Then she called a cab to come home. I already called the taxi company. They said they didn't find anything in their car. It's probably somewhere in the city then. We should retrace your grandma's steps going everywhere she went. We'll start with that. Great. Thor, you can try this corner. Bull, you'll go here. Unky, check out that area. Katie and I will search inside the grocery store. Now remember, guys, keep a low profile around people. And me? What am I supposed to do? Jerry, you're our most valuable pair of eyes. Keep surveillance over the town. We're looking for something really small, so look closely. I have an idea. What if we get Toby to help us out? Maybe he can track Grandma's scent on the brooch. I think he's part scent hound. Sounds good. Any help we can get. Go, go, Turbozords! Toby, sniff. Shoot! Stop, Toby. This is not time for snacks. Toby, stop! Get back here! Well, we learned something. Our dog's a terrible detective, and he likes hot dogs. What did he find now? Another poor cyclist? Maybe some trash? Peter! He found the brooch! You sure? Nice! Jerry, think you can catch that bird? 
I only have a hundred million years of experience. She must have been distracted by my charm. I'm too handsome. Every problem has a solution. Jerry, go find all the Turbozors. We've got a new challenge to tackle. <laughs> Bull and Thor, we'll need you guys to dig up this drain pipe. Anki, then you can pick it up. Once we get the brooch out, the pipe goes right back in the ground. And Jerry, you can just hang out and stuff. Uh -huh. Go, go, Turbozors! you kids were able to find it. You must have had to trek all over town. Anything for you, Grandma. Boris, you're off tempo. It's 4-4, four four, not 5-8. What are you talking about? I don't have four drum sets. Come on, keep the timing right. Whatever. Five, six, seven, eight. Peter, do you think that Boris and Bruno will ever become famous drummers like they want to? Well, nothing's impossible. Oh, what are you guys doing? Berry picking. Want to come with? No can do. We're working on our hit single. I don't want us to get lost. Should we turn back? Huh? Peter, listen! It's a creek. Too bad it's so far from Grandma's house. Huh? Not that far. Hmm. We must have made a giant circle. The houses are over there. On that side of the creek. Huh? Rats, we could have used a snack. You know what this place could use? A walkway. I agree. This looks like a job for the Turbozors. <sighs> ah, you want a trail? We should clear out the branches. How many hills are there? One, two, three. <laughs> Can this log help? I know. What if we used these logs to make a walking path like a bridge across the pond? Hmm. 
Chuck can look for more fallen trees. <laughs> Thor, you can saw them into stepping blocks. Unky, you can help put them in the creek at the right places. We should be careful not to disturb the plants, too. This area has a lot of pretty ones. Yeah, you're right. This will be a real nature trail. <laughs> All this talk of a nature trail makes me feel like dancing. Oh. <laughs> Go, go, Turbozords! You want a commemorative photo? Not really, Jerry. Thanks for offering to help me out here. Uh, uh, oh. <sighs> this nature trail is looking great. Well done, guys. We're not done yet. I've got labels. What a positively whimsical plant. It's carnivorous. It's sticky inside, so it can catch flies. When bugs smell the flower, the plant just eats them up. Huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, you're a lot bigger than a little bug. This plant would never be able to eat a dinosaur. Good work. The nature trail is open for business. Excellent work, everybody. You guys are the best friends ever, because we couldn't do it alone. I can't wait to drink some fresh spring water. What a nice surprise. Oh, I never knew such interesting plants were around here. I wonder who did all this. Mm, I wish I knew of this spring earlier. This lovely cold water is just so refreshing. Oh, look. Oh. Mm, mm. Uh, this world's full of the unknown. Like, I wish I knew how to play the drums, but oh well. there, kids. You two look like you just had a wonderful time. We were in an amusement park, and it's called Jungle World. Uh-huh. And everything looks just like the jungle. They even have mechanical elephants and tigers. That gives me an idea. We could build our very own amusement park with dinosaurs, and we could call it Dinosaur World. The idea, of course, is a good one. But where on earth are we going to find mechanical dinosaurs? We don't need mechanical dinosaurs when we've got real dinosaurs right here. <laughs> <laughs> For the construction, we can gather boards from the old barn. Here at the entrance, all of the visitors will be happily greeted by... Chuck! Don't you think I should be at the entrance? Because obviously, I have the most charming smile. Uh, eh? Wait a minute. I think that my smile is pretty charming. <laughs> Stop arguing. I will stand at the entrance. After all, I'm the most polite. Uh, thank you for coming, and I hope you have a nice day. Uh, uh, is that what you call polite? I can be a hundred times more polite than that. You're welcome, please, and have a pleasant evening. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, and it's very lovely to meet you. Uh, 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 Unky, Thor, uh, we're going to build a giant park. There will be space for everyone. The two of you are so polite, you nearly tore each other apart. I'm the one who should stand at the entrance. After all, I'm the most beautiful. Let's do this. Chuck and Unky, you can build the path and the bridge. Thor and I will work on the cave. Go, go, Turbozords! Yeah. <laughs> 
is the grand opening of the Dinosaur World Park, open to all. Please do not feed the dinosaurs as they are mechanical. <laughs> I wonder, who do they think is going to try to feed a mechanical dinosaur? Absurd. Let me remind you that when the guests arrive, we are mechanical dinosaurs, just like a robot. And you, Thor, try not to eat anything. Robots don't eat. What are you looking at me for? I already ate a big lunch and everything. All right then, everything is set. Peter, Katie, open the gates to our park. Welcome to our park. It's Dinosaur World. Hmm? Huh. No. Millions of years ago, dinosaurs inhabited our land, and they were enormous creatures, and... And they would eat whatever they wanted. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, but these dinosaurs in the park, they're not the dangerous kind, right? There's no need to be afraid of mechanical dinosaurs. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, will you look at that? That's a funny bird. Actually, that's not a bird. It's a pterodactyl. Did he call me a funny bird? I've never been so insulted in my life! Take this, you mechanical bully! I don't get it. I've been practicing, and that was my most charming smile. But you told me that you had lunch. I did have lunch. Only ice cream isn't lunch. It's, uh, well, it's ice cream. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> What are you all doing? It felt like there was an earthquake. Peter, it's a jumping contest, not an earthquake. Long jump contest. More like deep jump. What if you three had your contest somewhere else? Maybe in the forest? Better not, Katie. What about the ravine? Ravine? What ravine? Is it deep? Uh-huh. It's very deep and very dangerous. Huh. Where are you both going? We're going to have a look! We'll be quiet this time. <laughs> Finally, we're getting serious, huh? Give up, Unky! In your dreams. Ready? Three, two, one! <laughs> huh. Landing that way didn't hurt? Like not even your tummy? I have a tummy of steel. Sliding on it doesn't hurt at all. Huh? Are they setting a new concrete road? Nope. I'm setting a new world record. But what if the workers come back? 
We'll worry about that when they come back. Wow, that's quite a long way to jump. And a long way to fall. Uh-huh, a long way to fall. Ha, <laughs> someone scared. Yeah, scared for you. You're the one who never knows how to break. I don't know how to break? Huh? Ah. That's it. Challenge accepted. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. I changed my mind. Like I said, Thor is afraid. I believe that you can make it, Unky, but we really shouldn't. Oh, yeah. Who's the champion? How you gonna get down, Mr. Champion? Uh, uh, there isn't enough space to gain the speed I need. <laughs> but your world record! I think I'm stuck, Thor. You have to get me down from here! <laughs> Too high! Can't reach! Take this! <laughs> No, that's not gonna work. Oh, my plan's not gonna work. I think I found us a better plan. Plans for the road. And how does that help us? Nothing is impossible, Jerry. If Unky can't get across the unfinished road, then we will just... Lie him down? Finish the road. How could we have not thought of that? Go, go, Turbozors! those instructions exactly, right? Don't worry, Unky. We did everything by the plan. Three, two, one! Uh, say hello to your champion! Hooray! Ooh wee! The new road we built is very smooth. You want to race, Unky? Maybe chess could be fun? Nah. Uh... <laughs> ah. Well, Thor, want to jump? Let's go! <laughs> but first, let's finish building the bridge. No! What are you doing? I need something original. <sighs> well, maybe you can just find a new photo subject. Huh? Checkmate. Let's back up. If at first you don't succeed, you just try again. Checkmate. Again? This is hard. What should we do next? Anything. Originally, Katie and I wanted to ride on the Ferris wheel today, but it's not open yet, so we have the whole day free. Ferris what? What's a Ferris wheel? It's a real tall ride at the carnival, and you get amazing views. Views? I have a great idea. Joe! Hmm. We should get a photo on that Ferris wheel, Joe. Hear me out. It's the photo I've been waiting for. If you go up in that Ferris wheel, 
just for a little while. I can see it now. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a majestic Joe! Sorry, Jer. I don't feel like it. Joe! It'll be so unique and cool! Don't you want to help me out? Huh? I'm already unique and cool, and I'm afraid there's nothing you can do to persuade me. Hmm. What are we waiting for? Hop in! Let's go while the lighting's good! Look, you can stick your head out the top! Cherry, do you know how to run this thing? It only goes one direction. How hard could it be? You set? I think you're ready. Mm -mm -mm. Blast off! It's beautiful. I can see the whole town. All ready? Say cheese, Joe. Uh, what's going on? Why did it stop? Uh, don't panic. I'll be right back. Jerry, hurry. I'm nervous. It won't move. It's stuck or something. Whoa. Jerry, just who do you think you are? An amazing photographer and genius, and humble to boot. I'll hold that thought, though. I'll go get help. Don't move around too much. Ah! I don't like this, Boris. We shouldn't uh, go in yet. Fine, I'll go in myself. But it's closed. Can't we just wait? <laughs> Did you hear that? Someone shrieking. It's the wind. No one else is even here. We'll get Joe back safe and sound. Chuck, try and hide yourself when we go into town. Bull, take him on the trailer. Katie, let's go together on our bikes. Go, go, Turbo Zords! Well, anyone have any good ideas? It seems simple. Let's just spin the wheel until Joe is back on the ground. Hey, we got company. Boris and Bruno. Don't panic. Jerry, hide. Bummer. Guess we're huh? not alone here. What are you nerds doing? We were debating something. You think you can do this maze in under an hour? Well, duh, of course. You want to bet you can do it? The clock's ticking, you two. How'd you come up with that? Bull, make a level platform for Chuck. And Chuck will need your help with the Ferris wheel. Thor and Unky, you have a more special job. We need you to keep Boris and Bruno stuck in the maze. Move walls around, hide the exit, that kind of thing. All right, team. Go, go, Turbo oh, Zord. Don't mess up anything worse than you already have, okay? I don't get it. I feel like we've been to this part before, but it looks different or something. Uh, a front loader? Hooray! Joe, I'm glad you're okay, but just look at these shots! Yeah? Yeah, really! No luck? Told you this maze was hard. It's fine, follow us. We know the way. <laughs> Easy on the propellers! Hey, I'm a very fragile dinosaur lady! Oh, if I had wings, I... Huh? 
I gotcha! But only because these trees were in my way. It's a forest, Thor. The trees were there first. <laughs> it's okay, Thor. You'll catch up to them next time. You might just want to keep an eye out for the trees. They snuck up on me. Oh, do you hear that? It seems like they're building a new road. Now you're speaking my language. Building. How I would love to be a part of it. It's okay to dream, Thor. But it looks like they have enough workers without us. Nothing is impossible, Bull. Machinery breaks down all the time, so they might find themselves in need of a backup. And that backup could be me? Exactly. So when the builders leave, Chuck will get rid of the gate. And Thor, Unky, and Bull, you just stay parked in the place where the other machines are. Jerry, you capture it all on video so that both Katie and I can watch everything happen from right here. So we're just gonna sit there doing nothing? I think that's what he said. That sounds like fun to me. Is everybody ready? Well then, go, go, Turbozord! We're working on a construction site. we will witness the payoff performance of our backup plan in action. And where is Thor? Thor's cool. He was entrusted with his own special section. made a name for himself. Everyone's so happy with his work. And yet, someone else got all the glory. Danger alert! Danger alert! They want to send Thor to the shop! Send him to the shop? Well, we have to help him. It's such a pity. I had to leave the build at the most crucial of moments. 
Maybe this will make you feel better, superstar. Technology on the verge of fantasy! <laughs> I think I remember someone saying I eat too much. Well, I say that famous fantasy machines need extra food for extra energy. Speaking of food, it's time for lunch. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I'm bored. So bored. Butterflies are lucky. They fly wherever they want, even to the city. The city is so much more interesting than the woods. The homes, the people. What's interesting here? Nothing. Want to take a ride through the city with me, Thor? Huh? What? But isn't that dangerous? What could be dangerous? When a traffic light's red, we wait. When it's green, we go. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> this must be a new model. Check out this caterpillar track. <gasps> Look at that! I can't wait to tell Paul about this. That's right, they're not here. I circled the entire woods. Well, if they're not in the woods, maybe... They went into the city? But would they do that? In truth, yes. Unky and Thor always say it's more exciting there. Jerry? On it! The best intelligence comes from aerial surveillance. with people at a construction site. <sighs> and it gets worse. The workers are driving them. Oh, no, that sure adds a twist. I think I know what happened to them. The workers confused them with their vehicles and drove them to the construction site. We need to save them. But we need to wait for nightfall. The work will have stopped and no one will be able to see us. Go, go, Turbosaurs! How'd you do that thing with your eyes? I'd love to learn that. When we're done, I'll teach you. Hey, you two! It's time to wake up! <laughs> Jerry, you scared us. And you two huh? scared us. You should be ashamed of yourselves. We're sorry. It's just we were so bored, so we came here, and then things happened so fast. Well, we have a hmm. guess about what happened, but why didn't you come back? We can't leave yet. Why can't you leave? Because we have to finish the construction job. The workers are worried about getting it done in time. And if they don't, the children won't have a garden. I might have an idea. It would take a huge amount of work, but nothing is impossible. Uh. Uh. Unky, you'll load all the panels. Uh -huh. Bull, you'll drive them closer to the base. Chuck, mm -hmm. you'll secure uh, the panels in place. Uh -huh. Thor, prepare the ground. Mm -hmm. Jerry and Joe, we need you to keep an eye mm -hmm. on the roads and let us know if someone's coming. Go, go, Turbozors! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jerry. Always glad to help. So, what do you need? Go help Chuck put the roof in place. Come into the left, now the right, and forth, all set. Everybody did a terrific job here. That's what it means to work together and to have fun. <laughs> we make a great team together. But Thor and Unky, you two can't do that again. They took off without telling anyone first. They behaved like little kids. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> we won't do it ever again. Yup, 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 yup. What are you guys so busy with? Just some spring cleaning. Our grandma's gonna let us go to the movies because we finished all our chores. Really? I wanna come. We've never been to the movies. We've cleaned enough today. I say we should take a break and go to the movies with you. Okay, but what about Chuck? Won't they notice him? I have a brilliant idea. I'll keep watch and yell out a warning if it looks like our cover's about to get blown. Hooray! Go, go, Turbosaurs! Movies! skills. Hi, kids. Are you going to the outdoor movie? You guys better hurry up now. Don't want to miss the trailers. Yeah, she's right. We'll miss the trailers. What's a trailer? No tickets left. Sold out. Oh, early bird gets the worm, I guess. Or the movie tickets. <laughs> Quick, go hide! <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Oh my, what impressive marketing they've done here. Hey, come look! Nora, do you by any chance see a, a huge truck past that wall? Uh, or something? Huge truck? Over that wall? Mm, it looked like it was watching the movie. <sighs> we wanted to go, but we didn't get to see anything at all. Don't give up hope just yet. Follow me. I have an idea. <laughs> This 
used to be something really interesting, the drive-in theater. People would sit in their cars to watch the movie. After the movie theater was built downtown, people stopped coming. But we can rebuild it. Clearly, one movie theater isn't enough. And if the audience is all cars... Brilliant! I see what you're getting at. In our car forms, we'll be able to watch the movies here and not have to hide. First things first. We'll remove the debris, plan a layout, and clear the area. Then we'll make a screen. Any questions? Go, go, Turbozords! Spot right there. Thanks, guys. This looks amazing. Now it's time to be an audience. And they all lived happily ever. Huh? Peter, you turn on our show and I'll get the ice cream. Is that okay with you, Grandma? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh? Huh. Now why isn't the TV working? And the freezer isn't working either. All of the ice cream has melted. I guess the electricity's out. No cartoons and no ice cream. How are we going to live? <sighs> well, we'll just have to do things the old-fashioned way. Huh? Uh, I have just the thing. What I have here is... A dynamo machine. When you crank it, it generates electricity. So, I am going to see if the neighbors need help with their electric. Choo! Mm. Uh, uh, no good. It's rusted solid. And we need to be able to turn it hard enough so the light comes on. Uh, it won't budge. What do we do now? We call in the Turbozors. That's what. Did someone say Turbozors? Huh? <laughs> Best to leave this in the hands of a professional. Leave it to the professionals, Jerry. Chuck is right. But Jerry, we need you to fly on a mission to see why all the lights went out. Go, go, turbo source, 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 go, go, turbo source. The electricity went out because a windmill fell over, and then. <gasps> Why are you all looking at me like that? The wind is so strong, the windmill tilted over. Why does it have that, uh, propeller? It works just like a dynamo machine. Only the wind turns the blades, and they generate electricity. And electricity is what runs the refrigerator, the TV, and turns on all the lights. In order to fix the windmill, we need to first put it back in its place. Chuck, you lift it up, <laughs> we'll help. And Jerry, you wave the flag once it's standing tall. Hmm? Ready? Go, go, Turbozords! All 
righty. Lift, lift. Now back. Ah, ah. Yeah, just checking to see how deep it is. I gotta say, it's pretty deep. What? What? I'm just shooing a bee away. Shoo, shoo! We have to hook the windmill higher up, and Unky's cable won't reach. I've got what you need. Set in five minutes and be harder than stone. Not even a hurricane will move. But what should we do about that? Hey. We have to catch it. Turbozors, follow that coil. <gasps> I still think electricity is a powerful and rather useful invention. Grandma. We cranked up the dynamo, but the lamp still won't turn on. Why is that? Oh, it seems that bulb burned out about a hundred years ago. Nice one. I'm bored. What's everyone up to? Good move, Chuck. You just might beat me at my own game today. Oh, cool. Did I win yet? Usually it takes more than one turn. Pick the knight. Go. <laughs> 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 Your move! Yeah. Remember, Peter, a goalie's job is to never get distracted. What? Like that. <sighs> I told you. You ruined both soccer and chess, Jerry. Those games are dumb. I'm bored and don't want to do either of those. Jerry, I know what you could do. <gasps> it's an old radio from my grandma's attic. Mm -hmm. Look here. And later this afternoon, we yeah. should see some scattered clouds uh, come in, but no rain. Downtown, we've got a traffic jam uh, leading up the uh, South uh, Expressway. Uh, Drivers are encouraged uh, to take a detour see? to the South Expressway. Now you can hear what's going on in town. Is your hair thinning? I've got just the thing for you. Well, check we should probably go check in with our grandma. Play soon? <laughs> we got a bottle airplane. And Aunt Nora wants to try this thing out. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Remember, kids, when trying something new, read the instructions first. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, got it. Boris, turn it on. <laughs> it's not working. Is it broken? Aunt Nora, you might need to release it. What? <laughs> Let your Aunt Nora see those oh. controls. I'm the one who read the instructions. 
Like it's gone. Don't worry, we'll find your plane. Hmm. <laughs> hey, where did Jerry go? We have an important mission for him. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be another scorcher, folks. But oh, I have does scorcher mean something other than fire? I know lots of baseball sun, scores sun. now. Oh. oh, that beeping's new. That's a weird signal. It sounds like an SOS. SOS is a distress call. It means someone needs help. I bet it's a huge plane. Maybe it's in the storm. What should we do? We should build a safe place to land. <laughs> the plane's almost here. Thor, uh, let's clear the field of rocks and stuff. Both, you can level the ground. Uh -huh. Chuck, you can help pave the runway. <laughs> Anki, uproot any tree stumps. Joe, your headlights will make great runway lights for the landing strip. Go, go, Turbozors! Here, I see the plane. What's this thing? It's the plane, a toy. Thank you both so much. How did you find it? We just looked all over with help from friends. Kids, sorry to bother you, but is there you can go next door to ask Mr. Charlie if he needs help. He's been working on something all morning. Yeah, no problem, Grandma. <laughs> Whoa, what are you making, Mr. Charlie? Well, more like unmaking, taking apart this door. Don't worry, we're here to help out. Wonderful, I need to remove these boards. <laughs> That was easy. Glad that's done. Now I'll have space for a flower bed. Oh, and with these spare parts, I know what we can do. A birdhouse. A small wooden house for birds. Whoa, sweet. It helps the birds in the neighborhood and thanks them for singing so sweetly for us. Oh, that's so nice. We make homes for the birds and they return the favor by living here and being lovely. <laughs> There's a bird. <laughs> I think I hear your grandmother calling you. This board, I'll bring with me. I almost forgot to give you this. Hang it wherever you like. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you, sir. It's so cool. We'll find a good place for it. I can't wait to show the Turbozors. The board, too? We'll figure something out. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> Oh, good. A mailbox. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's for birds. For them to live? It's such a small, cute house. You know, I'm rather bird like. I want a bird house. I guess we could build a bird house for Jerry. That's a great idea. 
How should we begin to do it? We'd need things like bricks, but I don't see any here. We might not have any bricks, but we've got wooden boards. We just need to pick them up. They're right outside old Mr. Charlie's house. Go, go, Turbozords! <laughs> What? I ruined what now? Ugh. Oh, nothing. You made it much better. Mr. Charlie mentioned he wanted a place to plant his flowers. Flower beds are a piece of cake. Another job well done. Go, go, Turbozords! Chuck, be careful. This is my house. A very special, important house. Houses, and in exchange, the birds give him music. Well, I am multi-talented, you know, but I've never tried singing. Make it stop. What? Was that not wonderful, Bull? It had a certain ring, like a cuckoo clock. And you don't need singing lessons to do that. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Oh! Oh, lovely! Good job, kids. Coco! Huh? Coco! Hmm? Coco! Hmm. Strange bird. Been three hours now. I didn't even know cuckoo birds could do that. I thought I was rid of all my caterpillars. Oh, the horror! Your caterpillars are eating all my raspberries. <sighs> and what makes you think that these are my caterpillars? Oh, because you just said you thought you were rid of your caterpillars. Uh -oh. Okay, kids. I need you to run to the store to get a remedy for the caterpillars. While I take a little... <gasps> Nap. <laughs> Can you imagine all those caterpillars taking over like that? And then the neighbor jumps in and screams, Oh, the horror! Oh, the horror! So you're saying the caterpillars are scary, but the neighbor's an even bigger uh -huh. horror? Can you imagine? There's a caterpillar curse. Not to worry. We heard all about it from Jerry. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hop in. We'll go to the store to get a remedy for the caterpillars. I think maybe I'll join you. Hooray! We're off to get the remedy. That gives me an idea. <laughs> Ah! 
Oh! Are we here already? Where's the store? I think maybe I'm due for a paint job. Red is totally in. Are you trying to drench me in every pool of water we pass? No, I think that blue is more my color. My mommy always told me I shouldn't remove anything from our world. It's very dangerous, you know. But there's no danger here. Besides, this is the best thing in any world to get rid of those pesky caterpillars. <laughs> I think it needs water. One crazy dream. Can you imagine? There's, there's this enormous. What? Not the caterpillars again. The other remedy ate the fence. What other remedy, Unky? <laughs> You must really be hungry. And get a load of the angle on this one. Now that's what I call talent. That plant is a predator. For people in this world, it is very dangerous. We must dig it up and take it back immediately. Go, go, Turbozors! Chuck, you hold him by the branches. Unky, you hook him and wrestle him to the ground. Thor, you dig up the roots. Nothing is impossible! We have to save the little one! Jerry! Make sure this plant gets put back where it belongs. Uh -huh. We need to stay here and mend the fence before Grandma wakes up. <laughs> Grandma, are you ready to pick the mushrooms? And berries, too? <laughs> you two go on without me. I fear I'm a bit too tired for an adventure today. <laughs> but it looks like the little one's all ready to go. <laughs> Peter, why don't we deliver the mushrooms and berries we pick to the people in town? Because most of them don't have time to go to the woods. Great idea. And why don't we ask the Turbozors for help? Let's go! Fantastic. You can count on the Turbozors all the way. Right, guys? <laughs> mm -hmm. Then let's go pick some mushrooms and berries. Can you believe it? There's enough to feed the whole city. Check out this cool looking mushroom I found. I wanted to eat it, but of course I didn't because it's not for me. Ah. Oh, 
First of all, Jerry, the fly agaric is not for eating. And second, we need to build a warehouse to store and keep our harvest safe. Good idea, Bull. But first, I think we should make a building plan. This will be the conveyor belt, this will be for packaging, and this will be for loading. Everyone clear? All clear. This is where you all come in. We're going to need logs, rocks, and tree branches. Chuck and I will build the foundation. <laughs> Thor and Unky, you build the walls and the roof. Uh -huh. <sighs> go, go! Turbozors! And in the meantime, we'll keep watch over the mushrooms so that no one even thinks about eating them. Impressive warehouse, everyone. And now we can move on to packaging, and before you know it, we'll be ready for delivery. But how will we get them to everyone in town? Not to worry, Katie. That's a task for Jerry and Joe. Ready. How will we carry them all? I said that's too many! What are you thinking? You can't be serious, Jerry. The baskets need to be filled to the brim. Yes, but I'm the one who has to fly to town and carry that heavy load. Let's see who gets there first. Good luck, guys. We believe in you. Ah, la 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 Ha! It looks like I'm way ahead of Joe. Plenty of time to rest for a refreshment. What happened, Jerry? Do you need help? Oh, no, no! I'm just checking to make sure that none of these mushrooms are the fly agaric. But you know that the fly agaric is red with white polka dots. Now, Catch up. Uh, so much for being ahead. Uh, 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 wait, wait for me! Mushrooms and berries? From the woods? Oh, what a nice surprise. Thank you. Ah. Huh. Shoo, shoo! Don't you know I'm in a rush? Huh? Yeah. You're welcome. <sighs> it's a miracle. It's raining mushrooms. That's no miracle. It's the fast and reliable delivery of forest gifts from me to you. Enjoy yourself. I've got to rush to get home before Joe does. No. Oh. 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 Thank you, Joe. I confess, I was rushing to beat you home, and look what happened. No one loves to race more than I do, but sometimes it's better if you take your time. When you do a job, don't rush and make sure you do everything carefully and correctly. Now, let's go home. <laughs> That's amazing! Chuck, you're like a real pro soccer player! If we had another goal, then I could really show off all of my skills on the field. <laughs> While all of you have been over here having fun, I spotted three! Three people with giant bags, and they're headed this way! Giant bags? 
Yes, they had huge giant bags. They carried them on their backs. It's probably just some tourists, tourists with backpacks. Well, let's go, team. We can't let them see us. Huh? Jer, what have you done? Why is this my fault? I was tired and sat down to rest. These stones have been broken for 500 years. Huh. We have to move that stone and quick. No, but we don't have any time. These, uh, these, uh... Tourists. Uh, yes, tourists. They're so close. I've got a plan. We'll distract them. Chuck, I'm going to need your help. Follow me. Do we need the ball? <laughs> no, I need another one of your talents. <laughs> In the meantime, we've got to fix the base. Turbozors, go! How much further is it? We're real close. There's a clearing through the trees up ahead. We can set up camp for the night. Huh? <gasps> Anything we need to worry about in this forest? Any bears? Wolves? <laughs> no, no. It's absolutely safe. Chuck. When they get closer to us, roar as loud as you can. You know what to do. <laughs> Scare them out of the forest. I'm a little out of practice roaring, but I'll do my best. Let's go. <clears throat> Bears, wolves, <laughs> raccoons! <laughs> 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 Chuck, that was brilliant. You're so good at everything, and so modest, too. Now we'll definitely have the time to fix the base. That wasn't my best. Maybe I took some roaring lessons. Hmm. It's not coming out. Let me give it a try, Bull. Good. I can't get my hooks around it. I'm gonna crush the stone into a bunch of smaller rocks. Boulder is just too strong. What do we do? We've managed to distract the tourists for a bit, huh? but they could get here any minute now. We have to figure out something, and fast. I know what we could do. Let's make a lever, like this. We need a strong log. We put one end of the log under the stone and push on the other end as hard as we possibly can. Hmm? I saw a fallen tree nearby. That could work nicely. Chuck. Follow me, hmm. I'll show you. Maybe we just go back. We press on. We need to know what creature made that sound. Maybe we'll discover a new species. I mm -hmm. think it's Sasquatch. Huh? Uh, uh. Chuck, push down that log. I spot tourists. <laughs> Hurry, they're getting closer. Boo, Chuck needs help. Well, that's that. Thanks for the help, friends. Of course, Bull. We're a team, after all.
Hello there! Kids, you wouldn't happen to have heard some strange mm -hmm. sounds recently. They were coming from this direction. Huh? An awful, terrible, loud roar from a wild predator. Hello? Wild predator? Don't have any of those here. Our forest is perfectly predatorless. Loud roar? I understand. We were playing tag, Stone Age style. Peter was the saber-toothed tiger, and I was the cavewoman hunter. Hm. Rawr! <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> and you thought it was some bear. Raccoon! Saber-toothed tiger! <laughs> huh? 